as transactions are being done by applications into the source it will also write to the read log now golden gate as you are aware is a low impact change capture mechanism wherein whatever extract you are going to configure is going to read from the read log which is not going to impact the source system's performance and having read from the read log it is going to create a trail file now one important thing about the trail is only committed data that is written into the database will be captured and written to the trail which will be propagated into the target now the fact that extract is processing the read logs there are two options one is i can write to a local trail or write to a remote trail now let's see what are the options available when we write to a remote trail when extract is reading from the read log it has to send the data over the network to the remote host where golden gate should already be running on the target and through the network it will start a collector process on the target side and receive it over here in case anything happens on the network or on the target side the extract itself will stop now if the extract stops transactions on the source will continue to happen so there would be a disconnect between what extract has processed and what is the status of the oltp so the recommended approach is not to use a remote trail instant write to a local trail so that the extract can continue to run irrespective of what is happening in the target and we can use a pump process which is also a special extract which will write to the remote trail so we have both options wherein an extract can directly write to a remote trail or write to a local trail and start a new pump which will do it one of the major benefits you get in having a pump and extract is that whether the pump is running or not whether the network is available or not whether the remote host is running the golden gate or is accessible or not my extract will continue as far as transactions are happening on the read log the extract will continue to read from the read log and write to the trail and the pump will use the checkpointing mechanism through which whenever the pump starts it will read from the trail from wherever it has stopped earlier and continue in case it stops again it will know till where it has read from the trail and when it starts again it will use the checkpoint information available to go to the same location and pump it across another benefit we get is that using one pump i can in fact send it to multiple destination destination 1 destination 2 or destination 3 now the benefit of doing three destinations is that one pump itself can send the data across to multiple destinations now the problem with this is if one pump is used to send the data across to three destinations if one network falls down then the pump as such will stop because it is not able to pump it to one destination so the other alternative when you have multiple destinations is that you create one trail start separate pumps which will read from the same trail and send it to individual destinations over the network now what is the benefit of this in case for example destination 1 is not reachable or the golden gate on the destination 1 is not running pump 1 would stop but pump 2 and pump 3 would continue to pump it to the remote destinations and each one will have their own checkpoint though they are reading from the same trail pump 1's checkpoint could be different from pump 2's checkpoint currently and pump 3's checkpoint so each one of them will know from where they have to read the trail in case they stop having an environment like this is the most recommended option so that we ensure pump always continues to destinations where it is available and only wherever it is not able to reach the destination it will stop and golden gate automatically takes care of this checkpointing